Hey guys, how's it going? Sneaker Madness here, back with another video, and today I've got for you guys uh, another sneaker review, which you guys have probably already seen by the title. But first of all, I'm just going to show you guys a couple of cool bits that I've got over Christmas. Uh, it's only two things, and they're sneaker related. So I'll crack on with that, and then I'll get into the review. If you don't want to watch this bit, just fast forward and go straight to the review, guys. Okay, so first of all, guys, I have got um, a sneaker poster. My girlfriend got me this. Um, I think she got it from Urban Outfitters, but apparently you can get it from Topman as well. Um, I'm not too sure how much it costs. It's really good quality paper, though. Um, really good quality print as well. It's got 134 sneakers on it, ranging from 1917 with the Chuck Taylor, Taylor All Star, um, all the way to 2013 with the Kobe 8 system. Um, really cool, it's got loads of different sneakers on there. You've got Jordans, you've got Reebok Pumps, you've got uh, Nike Air Tech Challenges, Hirachis. You've got phone posits, a couple of Ronnie Fikes on here as well. So yeah, a really good range of uh, sneakers and stuff. Really cool, quality poster. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna frame this, guys, and uh, put it up on my wall because it looks really, really smart. Okay, so the second thing that my girlfriend got me, um, also sneaker related, and this is the final thing I'm gonna show you guys. Um, some Sneaker Freak magazines. Um, for those of you who don't know what Sneaker Freaker is, it is a company out in Australia who sell trainers basically, um, massive sneaky company, uh, they do a lot of club collaborations and stuff and they've also got their own magazine which is really cool, um, so yeah, my girlfriend ordered me these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 magazines from back in the day that you can order brand new off their website, comes with free stickers and um, yeah basically this magazine has got loads of collaborations and upcoming sneakers and previous collaborations and stuff like that. Um, they do an edition every... I don't know how often they do an edition actually, but I've got a couple of recent ones, but I wanted to collect them all, so you can go on their website all the ones from previous years um, or previous editions. So my girlfriend went ahead and ordered me some for Christmas, which is really cool. Um, so I'm gonna have a flick through some of these guys got some proper old school shoes on them and stuff so yeah these are going to be really cool to read a uh, really nice Christmas present and now guys let's get into the review of what you guys should in to see so by, by the title you probably know it's an ASICS and today I've got for you guys the ASICS Gel Light 3 the snowman from the Christmas pack uh, let me sh show you guys the label on the box hopefully you guys can see that um, light grey grey and I've got it in a UK 8, UK 9, US 9, sorry. So yeah, this is a really clean shoe, my favourite out of the Christmas pack, and here it is. Okay, so this is the only gel light free in the Christmas pack. Every year, A6 do a Christmas pack with three shoes, uh, usually a gel saga, no, two gel sagas and a gel light free. Um, last year, the gel saga was probably the best one. It was the Rudolph, really nice beige colourway. Hits of brown and red on it, only slight hits though really nice shoe. This year, this was by far the best shoe. Um, there was a lot of uh, talk about it before it got released, and I'm not too sure if people, a lot of people picked it up for retail, but every year the Christmas pack always goes on sale, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, so I was waiting for these to go on sale, and they did, and I picked them up from very.co.uk. For those of you who don't know, I'll put a link in the description. They sell everything. They're not massive on trainers, but they do usually get a few bits of trainers in, and because they're not big on trainers, guys, um, they don't sell out really quick, which is awesome. So you can get some pretty cool trainers on there, and they're an easy pickup. For example, the triple black Roshi runs were on there, and they were sitting on there for ages. Everywhere else, like Foot Locker, Foot Asylum, places like that, they sold out almost instantly. Um, so yeah, let's go into the train trainer itself. So as I said, it's a dry light free on the bottom of the shoe. You've got that all grey. Um, ASICS sole, the ASICS branding right in the middle um, and then you've got this kind of off-white midsole uh, with the ASICS branding again on the outside of the shoe. Obviously the colourway represents a snowman so you've kind of like, like got those greys and those off-whites to represent like the snow and the frost and, and the stones you use for the snowman. Um, so yeah, wrapping around the lower half of the shoe you've got this really soft suede which goes around, wraps around the heel and it also wraps around the toe front front of the shoe. Uh, really, really soft suede. It's kind of like almost a really light grey cream material. On the toe box, you've got that perforated colour. 
um, suede it's in exactly the same colour. Let me uh, come back forward so you guys can see that properly. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see that now. The box with that really soft suede in that same creamy kind of colour. And then on the inside of the shoe, remove these tags, you've got that um, harder, kind of tougher suede. Um, it looks quite durable, but this grey material in this tougher suede runs all the way around near the laces and uh, underneath the ASIC stripes as well you've got that tougher suede but that's also perforated I like that they've done that, that adds a bit of quality to the shoe in my opinion um, exactly the same on the outside of the shoe but the grey, the tough kind of durable grey suede again exactly the same as the inside of the shoe um, towards the back you've got that gel light free that's embossed in kind of like a, a grey colour it's got almost kind of shiny I suppose um, at the back of the shoe you've got the ASICS branding in white and then underneath you've got the gel uh, caged in, uh, I think the gel is in like a darker grey and then at the top you've kind of got that light suede again, that durable hard suede um, and then you've kind of got that hit of nylon here which runs into the tongue obviously for those of you who know gel life freeze you've got that famous split tongue um, so yeah, you've got that kind of shiny grey material on the tongue there, and then you've got these horrible flat orange and grey laces, obviously representing the carrot for the snowman. I personally don't like them, but the shoe just come with an extra pair of grey laces, which I'll definitely be swapping in. And then guys, you've got the, uh, the ASIC stripes. This is the worst part of the shoe in my opinion. They've kind of... I don't know if you can see that guys, but they, what they've kind of tried doing is they've put a shine on it and they've kind of, I can't explain what material, it kind of feels plasticky and you can see kind of snowflakes like frost and a print on the stripes. Nice detailing but I think the shininess kind of cheapens up the shoe which I don't like. I feel like if they kept it all suede in that, in that colour it would uh, make the shoe look a lot better quality. Um, and just be, it'd just be nicer, in my opinion. The insole's really cool, guys. It's kind of like got this splatter black, white, and grey material, um, and then you've got the A6 logo on the back. So that's really cool, nice little detail in when they do stuff like that. So all in all, this is a really nice shoe, guys. For 49 pounds, 45 or 49 pounds, you really can't go wrong, guys. This definitely isn't a winter shoe, which is annoying because they brought it out for the Christmas pack. Um, I just feel like if you wear it in the winter, this really light, soft colour suede around the front and the back is just going to get ruined so easily. So definitely for the drier days and maybe holding it till spring, summer, till I rock it. But yeah, this is a really nice shoe, guys. Um, the best out of the Christmas pack and for 40, yeah, for 49 pounds, you can't really go wrong. Good quality as well. Um, Asics usually are. I'm not really complained about any Asics quality recently or quite a while. So ASIC's doing a really good job with their general releases um, recently and also in 2015 I know there's going to be a lot to expect from ASIC's. They've, uh, I think they've got a lot of uh, nice GRs lined up so they're going to be dropping those and they're probably going to be easy to get because they are general releases so keep a look out in 2015, well this year for them. Um, I know their spring Easter pack kind of collection is going to be really nice guys so keep a look out for that. Also guys I have got uh, a new pickup coming, it's from Nike and I ordered it yesterday so it should be here probably Tuesday. As soon as I get it I'm going to do an unboxing and then quickly do a review for you guys. It's a really nice shoe and so I'm really excited to get it guys because it's my first trainer I've had of that particular model which is going to be really cool because I can kind of show you guys what I think of it. Um, I'm going to wear it first probably and then show you guys but yeah thanks for watching guys like comment subscribe and stay tuned for my next video thanks guys